point of plyometric and explosive training is to be able to exert maximum force in the shortest amount of time. So first, you start off with the box, stand in front of the box, get into a squat position, and then exert as much effort as you can trying to get on top of that box. So with maximum force, squat, then hop. All right, what you wanna do is also reset every time you do one rep. Next thing we're gonna be doing is called a snatch. And what we're gonna do is have a dumbbell in between your feet, lower it, okay, into a squat position, have your hand out just for stability, and then again, forcefully bring it all the way to the top. Lean your head towards that arm, that way it's a little bit stable when you get to the top. Next workout, what we're gonna do, I'll call power high pulls. So you're gonna lower those weights into a squat position one more time, and then forcefully bring them up to the sides and jump with those weights. And again, reset every time you do the reps. These types of training work effectively for athletes because it covers, again, the plyometric aspect and explosiveness, which is exerting the most amount of force in the shortest amount of time, which applies to pretty much every sport that you can think about. So the box jump, lower body to upper body strength and explosiveness, the high pulls, mostly the upper body, and the snatch for the full body explosiveness. That way, every time you play any sport at all, especially at those last quarter or last period of your game, and you can always call upon your body and trust that it will perform at your best.